Is my microphone working okay for everyone? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Great. Okay, so I am Rachel Lawson. Um, I should explain, I work for the Drupal Association and this is my Drupal profile. Okay? Yeah, I'm Rachel Norfolk on Drupal. And I always want to speak to people. That's my job, is to speak with people and find out what your views are about the Drupal community and help make sure that we, the Drupal Association, make it work for you. All right? That's my whole purpose as a job. So what does that mean? Well, sometimes it means working in workshops. Um, this was in, in Milan a couple of years ago, looking at how we could restructure the admin menu. Uh, that's still ongoing, and that was like two years ago. Uh, sometimes it means speaking, and that was me speaking in Moldova somewhere. Um, uh, was it two years ago now, maybe? Uh, but most of the time, quite a lot of the time, it means hanging around in Slack and answering questions and trying to make sure that the community works and, is, and progresses well. That's probably what takes a lot of my time. Uh, as I just say, I live in the UK. Uh, I'm the only employee of the Drupal Association who lives in Europe. Okay, that's just me. So obviously I work at home. Uh, my home is in a place called Kings Lynn, uh, on the coast, and I didn't take that photo, I just liked it. <laughs> okay. In my, in my spare time, I try to get away from the computer as much as I can. So that's either up in the hills, uh, near, in the UK, or going up very far on my motorbike, so this is down in uh, Bulgaria, um, and this was in Morocco, so I, I, I tend to get around on my motorbike quite a lot. In fact, one day, I'll come here by motorbike rather than flying, <laughs> one day, <laughs> uh, it's a long way to go, <laughs> I just need to make it work. So. I did say I work for and am employed by the Drupal Association. And I probably should explain, well, what's it for? Well, there's a pretty easy answer to that because the Drupal Association takes the responsibility of running many of the services that you rely upon to do your job. So everybody here at some point or other is regularly using Drupal.org, probably groups.drupal.org, um, the forums, the jobs page, um, which is quite useful and always worth, worth a check, and thousands and thousands and thousands of test bots that run all the time. We have continuous integration on uh, Drupal core and all the modules so that we get automated testing all the time. And Seriously, Amazon give us a lot of <laughs> test bots. <laughs> okay, so we, between just 17 staff, make all that work. Yeah, it's one of the biggest Drupal websites out there, and 17 people. It's probably worth saying then the Drupal Association is entirely funded by you through memberships, through uh, sponsorships. We have a, a thing called Supporting Partners Program, so uh, I know that the number of companies that are here right now do, do sponsor us that way. And it's also done through ticket prices for things like DrupalCon. Yeah. So those things put money that makes Drupal.org work. Basically, no Drupal association, no Drupal, it's as simple as that. Um, unless those things are funded, this doesn't happen. You don't have the job that gets you in this room. Uh, 
we also run DrupalCon. So we have a team of staff that put DrupalCon on every year. And one of my personal responsibilities is the code of conduct. So if there's any issues that happen at an event uh, where you think, well, hang on, no, this isn't right, it's me that you get to speak to as a community liaison. And it's me that sorts out well, what should be happening here and, and resolving the issues with a team, obviously. Okay. <laughs> we also help promote Drupal as a product. So there's some things going on with members of the community. Right now, there's been a, a thing called Promote Drupal initiative. And some of the things that have been coming out of that, I know a friend of mine, Paul Johnson, and others have been working on a thing called the Drupal Pitch Deck, which is a Google Slides set of um, materials that you can use. Anyone can use this, and anyone can contribute to it, of great examples of Drupal in use. And I just picked one of them here. So. Uh, looking through the slides yesterday, uh, there's IDE India, which is a, a Drupal website. I don't actually know what IDE India is, if I'm really honest, but it's a website. Um, and these are there for you to use. Study production, Paul would be very, very happy to hear, for examples, of other websites built on Drupal. Uh, and have the materials because he's building this deck and it's looking amazing. 